negative 3x squared plus 12 is equal to negative 15. We are asked to solve the equation. So the first thing I will do is isolate the variable quantity by subtracting 12. So negative 3x squared is equal to negative 27. Dividing by negative 3, x squared is equal to 9. Now I will apply the square root property. x would equal the positive or negative square root of 9. So then x is equal to positive or negative 3. So the solution set contains negative 3 and positive 3. Exercise B, again, I will try to isolate the variable quantity by first adding 14 to both sides. 1.5 by n minus 4 squared is 92. I'm sorry, 96. Dividing through by the 1.5, n minus 4 square is equal to 64 using the square root property. n minus 4 is the positive or negative square root of 64. Now the square root of 64 is 8, so I have positive or negative 8. Breaking it up into two equations, n minus 4 is negative 8, n minus 4 is positive 8. Adding 4 to both sides of the first equation, n is negative 4. Adding 4 to both sides of the second equation, n is 12. Or you could write it as a solution set containing negative 4 and 12. Exercise C, we are asked to solve p minus 5 squared plus 20 is negative 4. Again, I will try to isolate this variable quantity squared. I will subtract 20 from both sides. And so then we would have p minus 5 squared is equal to negative 16. Applying the square root property, p minus 5 is the positive or negative square root of negative 16. Now, here we have to be careful. The square root of, of negative 16 is not a real number. Now, later on in a, in a different chapter, we will learn how to deal with this by using what are called complex numbers. But for now, we would have to say this equation has no real solutions.